how to become a wife without being a girlfriend. Honey, the Pygmishas was in their feelings this morning after I did that Pygmisha video and posted it on Facebook in a couple of groups. Honey, the Pygmishas and the girlfriend was in their feelings. One of them asked, well, how you become a wife without being a girlfriend? And I'm like, girl, I've been a, I've been a wife going on 10 years and you've been a girlfriend for 12 years. You forgot you tell us you've been crying and begging us to tell you how we can get you. You, you, you can get you to marry you. Okay, talk about I'm the prize, but you're on clearance. <laughs> it's Thursday evening, y'all. I just got home. I hope Blue Michael don't have no homework today. Let me check the homework thing. I don't think I got an alert for homework, girl. You know, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. They uh they have uh, their little their little end of year party tomorrow. I wish she said no homework. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna talk about that. Okay, it's a serious question. You know, I know people be in their fields, but it's a it's a fair question to wait a minute two hours ago. Lord Jesus, she did some homework. Okay. You know, it's like the last day before class. Why are the kids still getting homework? Okay. Just tomorrow's the last day and two and a half days next. But anyways. But anyways, yes, I was not my husband's girlfriend. I refused. When my husband said he wanted us to be exclusive, I said, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I don't believe in exclusivity. He said, uh-oh, you know what that mean? Right then and there, he recognized that I was different from the other woman he has dated because you will not, you will not waste my time. Okay, I am the prize, honey. And if you want me to only date you, you will put a ring uh, that at least one carrot. Okay, we we little modest over here. We are modest over here. You gonna put a ring on my finger? With at least a carrot. Okay. Somebody in the group. <laughs> Where can I get a diamond ring for $500? I didn't respond. I'm like, girl, ain't no ring for that. For <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no diamond ring for no $500. I said, did you mean $5,000? No, $500. I said, I just left it. I wanted to say, girl, you can't even get diamond dust from 500. In my book that's coming out soon, I'm going to be talking about the guys I dated, but then I'm going to come back and I'm going to write another book about how to date the way I dated. Because see, a lot of people, y'all be over here, not not my girls that's been with me for um, a long time, my cousins, my girl, but I recognized yesterday because uh, somebody was in their feelings and their emotion and I was going to go in, okay? But then I realized that I really didn't recognize the name and people are joining my channel every day and they might not know my content and be knowledgeable of my content. So when you know they ask little stupid questions, I have to remember that, you know, she might be new. Okay, and, and so I said I was gonna write a book about how to date my way because my way of dating is different from everybody else's way of dating okay okay we I, you know i'm I, I have a very strict way of dating i don't do boyfriends okay i don't sex okay i don't suck and i don't lick okay i don't believe in having babies with no man i'm married to no y'all know i had a baby at 16 okay I don't shack up. I don't believe in dating one guy at a time. I don't date broke men. I don't date men I am not physically attracted to. I don't babysit your kids. I don't watch your dog. I don't clean your house. And I don't babysit your house. I don't pay for dates. And I don't lend money. Okay? I don't wash, cook or clean. My husband might have gotten two or three meals out of me while we were dating. One time was because he was coming to the house to meet my, to, we was having dinner with my dad. And another time he was passing by and maybe another time I cooked him something else. Okay. Out of me while we were dating. I don't sleep at your house. I don't lay up at your house. 
I ain't your helpmate. I am not trying to help you to become the man you are supposed to be. I ain't trying to be built with you. I'm not going to be build, uh, Bob it. I don't date build a males in 23 types of guys you might meet. Okay. I don't date men who are still trying to figure their lives out. I don't date broke men. I don't date struggling men. I don't date men with potential. I don't date men that's trying to make it. I don't date men that can't put a decent ring on my finger, like I said, and put a, a house over my head. I live in New Jersey. So, you know, Jersey, you can have a house. If you live in New York, it's a nice apartment. I do believe in dating multiple guys at one time. I don't be, believe in being exclusive without a ring on my finger. Michael Thompson, you want me to put be exclusive. I'm getting fat, child. The ring is fighting to come over my finger. You want me to be exclusive. You go on down there and get the ring. We went to pick out the ring before he went away. Or after, I think after he came back and he said, okay, pick your top two. He said, pick three. And this was my, I walked in, I walked in and I saw this ring. I said, that's my ring right there. That's the Lord put my name on it. I got my ring, that my ring right there. She took it out. I saw the, I said, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Take, put it all the way back in the basement. Okay. My husband said, he said, no, 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 no. You like it. I say, I love it. It's my ring. Okay. When they got that diamond from wherever they got it from, not blood diamond. Thank you. They said, this is Janice ring. He said, okay, put it there. He said, pick uh, your number two. I pick my number two. And he said, okay, I'm gonna pick my number one. He picked my number one. I said, I don't like solitaires. He said, but I love solitaires. So he went back with his frat brothers He did, and they told him if they were married, they said, this is the ring she loved, this is the ring you get, this is the ring he got. When he went to pick up the ring, the man, the jeweler told him, take it right to the insurance office and get the insurance on it because if you lose it, we can help you. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. And so, you know, my way of dating is really strict. Everybody can't date like I date because y'all too emotional. Okay. You want to make him your mate. You just met him. You think he's your man. You want to move in, shack up. I start having sex and making babies, picking out their names and everything. Okay. I don't, I don't date like that. You are on uh, uh, my schedule. I am not on your schedule. And so when I met him and it took him a whole month, girl, to call me when I, was, I post them those beautiful, beautiful pictures of me in a suit on, 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 uh, I'm still trying to fit it. size four. I can't fit it. <laughs> he said, can I take you out for a drink tonight? I said, no, I'm busy. He said, what about tomorrow night? I said, I, I, I got plans. Say real nice. That was, that was Thursday. Now I'll turn that right. <clears throat> He said, can I take you up tonight for a drink? He said, no, I'm busy. What about tomorrow? I said, no, I got plans. He said, what about Saturday? I said, no, got plans. He said, what about Sunday, brunch or Sunday? I said, no, I already had something planned. He said, what about Monday? I said, oh, okay. And see, a lot of women be jumping my comments talking about, oh my God, oh my God. Why you let him wait? Why you let him wait? You let me wait a whole month before you called me to take me out. You think I was sitting at home waiting on you to call me to take you out. I was busy, okay? And when we went to dinner Monday, he said, can I take you out again tomorrow? I said, uh, -uh I got plane. He said, well, what about Wednesday? I said, okay. Wednesday night, he said, can I take you out again for dinner tomorrow night? Thursday, I said, uh-uh. I got plan. He said, okay, well, what about Friday? See, see, y'all be running the men down and begging and pleading, take me out. When you go see me, come see me. And you meet him and you put all your eggs in one basket. Then you end up emotionally hurt and burnt out and used up. Okay, because you ain't got no wisdom. Uh, my dear. See, a lot of you women talk about you're the prize. You're the prize, but you're shacking up. Apparently, he don't think you're the prize. Cause you're you're giving him free service, you're sleeping with him, paying bills with him, doing all kind of freaky stuff, having his baby splitting the mortgage or the rent, but being his roommate, talking about I'm the prize. You ain't no prize, baby. You are below clearance. What? <laughs> Whatever Clarence is. See, see, when you read about diamonds and jewelry and um 
Who can find a virtue from her presence far above rubies? You don't see these diamonds. You don't see them running around trying to trying to become what the man wants to be. Diamonds and rubies are just sitting there looking beautiful and pretty. And if he wants to have you, he will pay the price. You know what? That's when you know you are a prize because he paid the price for you. No, 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 no. You allow the the dusty to take you off the show floor where nobody else can see you and he got you all the way back in the corner in the basement in the dungeon hiding you girl while he's still out shopping you just put your prize dating is about data it's not about meeting a man and making him your man it's gathering data to see, does he meet what you want? Some of y'all, y'all don't even have, you claim you have a list and then next thing you know, you're dating an atheist. How are you born again? I, I, I don't see. I don't see. I got standards. How are you born again? Say, sanctify, filled with the Holy Ghost, with a mighty burning fire, dating and marrying an unbeliever. I don't understand it. What kind of devil juice did they give you? I got to go, child. It's Thursday, it's Thursday night, and I don't know what tomorrow. I love, let me know what you think. <clears throat> you most definitely can become a wife without being a girlfriend. This book on Amazon, it's only like two or three ninety nine. About not being a girlfriend, because see, but girlfriend, he gonna want to be fed. Understand, he gonna want to be set. He gonna want you to build him. He gonna wanna borrow some money. He might want y'all to shack up. He might want you to help him to build his credit. I, 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 I don't believe in all of that because I'm the prize. So if I'm the prize, sir, you will do what you need to do to have me in your life. My, he had a townhouse. I don't like it, Michael. I can't. I need to see four quarters. Four quarters. And I got a house in the corner. We're trying to move. Four, I can't. I need a decent ring on my finger because if just in case it don't work out, I can go and pawn it in and get some money and take on a vacation or something like that. Y'all making excuses for this man. Oh, well, you know, he only, he only making $5.99 an hour. Why are you dating him to marry him and then going to be in the wife group crying about how you hungry, you can't feed your kid? Girl, do you know how many wives are in these groups crying? Hey, you know what I want to ask? Why are you marrying him? Granted, it's a pandemic, okay? We just, it's a pandemic. And we're coming out of the pandemic. All right, I love you. 10 Years a Girlfriend is available on Amazon. I need reviews. If you have not reviewed this book, you guys are buying the book. I can see that. I just need you to remember to go back and review the book. I love you. Um, If I wake up early tomorrow and I feel like being nice to you guys, I might talk about Marinette for a second, okay? But I don't know yet because I got books to, to review. Love you. Bye.